Trump could happen in Canada. You're saying policies reflect that, but you say Trump is already here. Where is I didn't he? Say, How did that happen? Yeah, I didn't yeah. say, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think what I was saying was precisely the opposite of what you just said. You said Trump in other is words, already in Canada. In other words, what I said was his policies are in effect here, but I don't see a Trump-like character succeeding in Canada. Okay, why not? Because the policies are in effect already. Why do you need a revolution with respect to immigration when you've got an immigration system that uh, a Jeff Sessions thinks is splendid? Why do you need a revolution with respect to K-12, where Americans do terribly, and Canada does extremely well? Why do you need a revolution with respect to mobility when Canadians do so well already? Right. right. I mean, the sources of the frustration are absent in Canada, right? And as well, you have <clears throat> a constitutional system where you have to do it in the House of Commons, and that excludes the complete outsider. Well, we also have social liberalism, though, that allows people to be given things, and a government that is trying and to Canadian correct social inequality. over America is just astounding. The United States has a welfare system more generous than Canada. I know you don't believe it, it's true. America has 72 different federal welfare schemes. It has a host of state ones. In terms of welfare per GDP, it is, I think, the second most generous country in the world. Okay, so it when does When was the last time you lived in Canada, Mr. Buckley? Last time I lived in Canada was about 25 years ago. Right. So, so. forgive me if I know more about the country than you. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. That's Frank Buckley. On hope Power hope you learned something. Thank you. Coming up, uh, we'll talk to Gregor Robertson. He's the mayor of Vancouver. Canada's opioid task force takes its first steps in coming up with a nationwide solution to that crisis. I'll speak to the mayor about his conversation with the ministers of health and public safety after this. What's it like?